Hi, today we're going to explore how to create a marketing quiz on your Tilda website. Use blocks from the form category to design an engaging step-by-step -step form that boosts user engagement with your service or product, collects leads, and tailors personalized offers for your prospects. You can choose from any of the pre-designed block options or customize one from scratch to meet your specific needs. Display the quiz in full screen or as a pop-up and set an eye-catching cover image. Add a virtual consultant to guide users through the questions and configure visibility conditions to tailor the results according to your client's answers. Let's walk through the entire process of setting up a marketing quiz form on Tilda. In the page editor, go to the block library and explore the form category to pick quiz block options for your website. Here, you can choose from different quiz variants a multi-step form for capturing leads, a marketing form in two columns, a marketing form with a consultant, a quiz form with a cover, branching and result, quiz form with branching results, full screen form, as well as a pop-up form with a consultant. You can easily customize the quiz experience to fit your needs. Let's start with the multi-step form for capturing leads to explore its features. Go to the content tab, quiz form steps. The contents are already filled with default quiz steps. You can rearrange the steps by dragging them or using the up and down buttons. You can also duplicate, delete, or hide a step. For example, if a question from the form step isn't relevant at the moment, you can simply hide it and enable it later if needed. To edit the content, click on the desired step. Let's start by deleting everything and see how to build a quiz form from scratch. Imagine you're creating a marketing quiz for a fitness studio. Add the first step and select the input type as question with answers. Then set the input title, add answer variants, and choose multiple choices checkboxes under type of answer to allow users to select multiple options at once. Now let's replace the checkboxes with buttons. To do this, click more and choose buttons under answer option style. We'll customize the appearance of the buttons later. Here, I'll specify that I want the answer options arranged in three columns. Finally, to enhance the mobile experience, I'll check the option to arrange in two columns on mobile for better usability. Now I will repeat the same for the next steps. To learn more about working with forms on Tilda, check out the link in the description. By the end of the quiz, I want to give my users the opportunity to input a custom answer, which I will enable below alongside the specified variant title. To make this field mandatory, I will check required. To allow my potential clients to leave their contact information, I will add a contact form as the final step and include the text I prepared in advance. If you don't have ready-made text and need help creating it, you can generate it using the built-in AI assistant. For a detailed guide on working with Tilda's AI assistant, check out the Help Center. The link is in the description. Here, you can add all the necessary fields for the user to fill out. Say, I want to collect names and phone numbers. To ensure that visitors don't forget to leave their contact information, I will make these fields mandatory to fill out. And we're done. Let's save the changes and see what we've got. To specify the quiz form name and customize other elements, navigate to the Other tab. Here, I will add the text for my quiz form, encouraging visitors to complete it. Next, you can add an image that will appear next to the quiz name. You can choose an icon, an emoji, or upload a picture. I will select a sneaker emoji to match my website's theme. In the additional text field, I will include that our consultant will contact you within 24 hours after you submit your application to provide further information. How do you customize results based on users' answers? We've created a quiz form to invite our prospects to take a questionnaire and receive a personalized offer. If a client aims to gain muscle mass, we will present a specific set of workouts. Conversely, if their goal is to relieve stress and improve their mood, we will recommend a different set. Let's explore how to set it up. I have outlined the steps for my quiz and added visibility conditions. To customize the branching logic in detail, check out the tutorial explaining the entire process from start to finish. The link is in the description. Now, let's add another step and set it to result. You have two options here, result content, image plus text, which displays valuable information like a discount code at the end of the quiz, or result redirect, which takes the user to another page, for example, the one featuring a promotion after they complete the quiz. I'll choose result content, image plus text, to display a window with all the relevant information about the workouts that will benefit them the most. Next, I will specify the quiz title, add description, and upload an image. For the button title, I'll use explore workouts. You can choose to send users to the next step of the quiz or redirect them, for example, to another page within your sales funnel. 
I'll choose the latter and link the user to a page on my website. Now, when the user clicks the button, they will be directed to the page with available workouts. Below, you can customize the image positioning, set the button color, and adjust the horizontal alignment. Next, let's configure the visibility conditions. I want this step to be shown only if the user's goal is to build strength and muscle, so I'll link the relevant answers to the appropriate steps. Under Action Condition, you can choose whether all actions are required for the step to be shown or if at least one action is required, depending on your goal. I will select the latter. Then, I will create another result step for users who want to relieve stress and set the matching field values. All done, let's save the changes and see what we've got. Now, let's customize the appearance of the block. You can adjust the quiz style in the Settings tab. In the main settings, you can modify the width of your block and, for instance, make it 12 columns or decrease its size and align it to the left or right. You can also adjust the height of the block. It's set to 600 pixels by default. Please note that if no value is specified, the height of each step is calculated automatically depending on the content size. You can adjust the input layout by using a two-column format or a one-to-two ratio where the questions take up more space than the text. Below, you can customize the panel positioning by placing it at the top or aligning it to the left or right side. Additionally, you can stretch the block to full screen and adjust the content size, setting it to 100%, 12 columns, or explore other options. Alternatively, you can display the block in a pop-up window by selecting Open Block in Pop-up. Once enabled, a new setting will appear for configuring the pop-up. Next, you can disable automatic transition to the next step if you want users to manually click the Next Step button. This option is available for fields with predefined answers. Down in the settings, you can customize quiz form style, form input style, buttons, and typography. Here, you can adjust colors, select a font for the quiz form, and more. In the animation settings, you can add animation effects for the form's appearance and button interactions. In the other settings, you can customize the success messages, text color, and background color, as well as adjust the border radius for the entire success message or for specific corners by clicking this button. You can also make the border radius responsive and adjust it specifically for the mobile version. Below, you can preview the form link as it will appear in the analytics system and add a quiz name to be able to distinguish submitted forms. And finally, you can modify top and bottom paddings, set block background color, disable scroll reveal effect, and customize block visibility for different screen resolutions. To learn more about optimizing a website for mobile devices, check out the Help Center. Want to personalize your quiz? There's a special feature that allows you to add a virtual consultant to your quiz form. You can use it to grab attention, explain the benefits of completing the quiz, and provide helpful tips while they fill it out, ultimately boosting user engagement. You can use a pre-designed block from the block library like the QZ101B block, or manually add a consultant to any quiz block you've chosen. Go to the Content tab, Consultant. Here, you can specify the consultant's name, it can be you or one of your employees, add a description detailing their expertise, include a general message, and upload an avatar image. Let's save the changes and see how it looks. Now, we have a message from the consultant at the beginning of the quiz. However, as we move on to the next steps, the message stays the same. How can we customize the consultant's message to make it unique for each step of the quiz? Let's go back to the quiz form step settings and select step two, then scroll down and access consultant. Here, you can add a message that will appear specifically for this step. If you don't specify custom text, users will see the general message from the consultant provided earlier. Let's check the final version. Since I didn't set a custom message for step one, it shows the general consultant's message. Step two displays the custom message I just added, while step three shows the general message again. The following steps will each display their unique customized messages. Want to make your quiz more visually engaging? Adding a cover image is a great way to make it more attention grabbing and appealing. In the content tab, go to quiz form steps, add a new step and set it to cover. Then drag this step to the beginning of the quiz. For the cover, you can set a title, description, upload an image and create a button title. You can also position the image to the left or right of the form or use it as a background. Additionally, you can customize the background image position, modify the button settings and alignment options, and add a SEO title tag. 
Now I'm going to take the quiz to make sure everything works as intended. Great. It seems to be working perfectly. The training recommendations are shown in accordance with the user's fitness goals, and the results are based on the provided answers. And that's how you create an effective marketing quiz on Tilda, featuring a customized appearance, visibility conditions, a virtual consultant, and more. For a detailed guide on creating data capture forms and marketing quizzes, check out Tilda's Help Center. Good luck.